Chris Cote, this is Paul Zitzer. You may recognize this man, Tony Hawk. Uh, first of all, can we just say thank you for the show that you put on last night? Oh, you thank and the you. the crew went off. And that was, I mean, kind of transcended a demo. There was some real emotional moments happening up there. Uh, well, for me, definitely, yes. <laughs> well, I think for everybody um, But involved. it was, uh, yeah, you know what's funny is, is I, I did a mix twist a couple of weeks ago in private, and I thought that that would prepare me for just doing them in the future now to not think about it too much. And so last night I thought, I'm just going to do one, and it's going to be in a run, it's going to be cool, and everything's fine. And then it turned into a mission, and it, that's what it, it was. It got serious very quick when you slammed. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm so, I'm still, I'm still hindered by my injury, so I can't get a good hold of it. And because I'm so fixated on the grab, I forget about the snap and pulling out too far. So you know, it's a whole thing. But it was, it really I'm, I'm just thankful to get it done. Thank a you. Beautiful moment. I appreciate it. Yeah, we were talking about of the probably thousands of the twist 540s you've done in your career. You had a, a, a reaction to that, and the yeah, that was you. that was. Um, much more exciting to me than <laughs> any of the other ones through the years. Well, going back to basics, I mean, first and foremost, I know that uh, everybody around owes you a, a, a debt of gratitude for not only helping shine a light on vert skating again, but also bringing us into this arena. We were in the rodeo ring last year, which was amazing. That was awesome. But this feels like a whole new level. I'm sure you're used to it from the Boom Boom Huck Jams, but for a lot of people out here, this is their first experience seeing skateboarding where it should be on a stage like this. Yeah, it was almost 20 years ago that, that this ramp was in an arena and then never again. So I'm thankful for that. It does feel like an upgrade from from the last couple of years here. And, and I mean, just if you watch the, the women's finals, two years ago, the level of skating wasn't near that. So... The, the, the skating keeps progressing, the, this event keeps evolving, and I'm really hoping that we draw more attention to Vert in general. I think the fact that this is now a qualifier also for the X Games yeah. gives it so much more weight, because there has always been that thing, like, how do you get into the X Games? Well, you know, who knows? Now we come here. Go. Come here. Come <laughs> yeah, to Bird Alert. Now, uh, last year, like we had mentioned, you know, we, it, it's pretty fun because now we get to kind of contrast, right, the progression from 365 days or so ago, uh, and, and see what's happening now. Like you had just said, the, the the women's final showed us that the women's progression is light years beyond what it's ever been. We're about to watch the men drop in now for the men's finals, and I feel like it's going to be a similar story there. Can you tell us a little bit about the field that we saw last year and kind of maybe what, what are we going to see different this year? I, you know, when you see tricks like that, like front cab to front foot impossible, you think, oh, that's, that's as far as we can get. And Moto just keeps stepping it up. So, I mean, I just watched Tom Shar do front blunt to lip slide across the gap. I've never even seen that trick before. And now we're just watching him doing it in practice. So... I can't tell you what I, what's going to happen, but it's going to be better than last year. Well, that was, that was your 3-2-1 uh, from last year. Jimmy Wilkins got the win, and I, I'm... I mean, right there, Jimmy Wilkins with the lean five. That's still the, one of the best tricks we've ever seen. And that was from last year, so he, it's going to be amazing. It's true. And then Mitchy Bruska was in second. We saw him do a 900 last year. We saw him do the Switch 540. He, unfortunately, didn't even make this final here. That's how crazy the cuts were over the weekend. It's Open savage, qualifiers savage. and semifinals. It's gnarly. a savage cut. Well, how does this work? Let's take a look at how Tony Hawk's Vert Alert men's final is going to go down. Well, this ramp was the centerpiece of the Boom Boom Huck Sham ramp setup. I put the job to a staging company that does big rock concerts that could be taken apart and put back together on tour, on the road. It cost a lot of money and it was a big risk because we didn't really know if it was going to work. And then when I first got to ride it, it was perfect. And it's, it's always been perfect. <laughs> It's hard to say about this ramp because this ramp is so good. It's like one of the best ramps in the world. I feel good on this ramp. This ramp is one of my favorite to skate when I'm here in the US. Because it's perfect. Everything is perfect, so it's, it's fun. This ramp has like really good transition. Like there's a perfect amount of flat to set up for every trick. 
the only bad thing I can say about this ramp that was really hard for me to skate here and then having to go back to Brazil to skate there. <laughs> I think this ramp is perfect for skating at Vert Alert. I think it would be really good to be in an arena. And I'm really excited because the only indoor arena I've ever been to is Disney on Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Hawk, Vert Alert, where the best vertical skateboarders are going to be putting it down in an organized jam format. I love the jam session, I think it's the best, and to me it's just improvisation, you know, whatever you want to do, whatever you feel like. I like to scale like this. There's no wait for runs, you just back to back, you know, you fall, you go up. It makes us get better. If I remember to be there and a lot of people screaming and having a good time. That's why jump session is good too, because you don't have to wait, stop, TV thing, you just like go and boom, boom, boom. I like that energy. It helps me land my tricks. I mean, it makes me skate different. I have more energy, like I can feel the vibe, the intensity of a session, you know, so it makes me skate better and it's pure good skateboarding. And as if this ramp wasn't perfect enough, we got a fresh coat of skate light, and I'm hearing rave reviews on uh, on how good this ramp is feeling for all of our skaters. Well, as our men's finalists gear up, let's talk about the event format. You're about to see another organized jam, one skater at a time. They know the list. If you fall, the next skater gets to drop in. This is not a snake session. There will be equal runs for all eight skaters, and they will be judged on overall impression. So it's not run by run, it's who wins the session. The winner will take home $10,000 and they have punched their ticket into X Games Ventura coming up July 21st. Tony, how many uh, skate contests have you been in and how many times have you had to figure out what the judges are looking for? <laughs> uh, hundreds and every time. Every you time. You gotta figure it out. I think uh, there's an element of surprise that is always helpful. If they haven't seen you do something in practice or they haven't seen you make something in practice, that will pop up your score. Even though it shouldn't necessarily, it does work for you. Well, our men's finalists are the who's who of the current vert skating. Paul Luke Ronchetti, Tom Shar, Guy Curry, Moto Shibata, Ronnie Gomez, Augusto Akio, Jimmy Wilkins, and Edward Damastoy. And what I love is we truly have a deep international field. Uh, only two repeats, the two, uh, three repeats, three skaters from Brazil. We're pretty much used to that at this point. There's always going to be at least three or four Brazilians in any final, in any action sport. So it's only fitting that it's happening here. And as we get ready for this, it's time. It's time for the wolf, mate. The wolf is about to howl. Let's throw it up. And now, the wolf mate, Jason Ellis, Good. with our skater intros. These are the greatest skateboarders in the world, just so you know. There is no greater skateboarders. Vertical skateboarders are skateboarders that are not only technically advanced, but they're also facing high speeds. And uh, when you do high speeds, more damage, which means it can make you scared. But if you're technically advanced and fearless, like these guys, very rare breed, Today, you're gonna see these guys. Fearless, technically, the greatest athletes in the greatest sport in the world. Thank you. Here we go, from the top. This is gonna be the jam. At the top, we have Paul Luke Ronchetti. Say hello to Paul Luke. Then we have, that's right, Ronnie Gomez. Where's Ronnie? Say hello, Ronnie. Then we have, Tom Shah, everybody say hello to Tom. Augusto Akio. Where's Augusto? There he is, say hello. And from Brazil as well, Guy Curry. Where's Guy? I just met him like 30 seconds ago. 14, he's 14, okay. 
Jimmy Wilkins, everybody, my favorite. Then we got Moto Shibata. Where's Moto? Say hello to Moto, everybody. And then my man, Edouard Demistoy. Say hello to Eddie, everybody. Lightning, this guy. Very exciting. So whenever you want to start, Paul Luke will start the jam until we've sorted this out. It's up to you, dude. Go for it. And just like that, we are right into it. This is your men's final 40 minutes on the clock. Remember, overall impression is what the judges are going to be looking at. They're going to watch every trick, every run, every nuance that these skaters are throwing out there, starting with Paul Luke Ronchetti. This kid is so consistent. He is our most veteran, or one of our most veteran skaters at 30 years old. But, I mean, he's skating like a teenager. He's looking amazing. He, I think he's going to impress the judges with his ability to tweak every single trick he does in ways that most people could never. I know you're not going to see, usually you wouldn't see a judo in the finals, but the way he does a judo, it's totally deserved. So that was our first run. That's basically the line in the sand. So the judges see that, they take note, and that's where the scale is going to be set. We are now going to Ronnie Gomez. He's one of those guys that uh, is an absolute madman. Seen him on Mega Ramp. You see him on, you know, flying around. He was ruling practice. And Ronnie's got some super technical tricks like that. Well, heel flip front side. He also does switch heel flip front side. Varial flip. All this stuff is just, they're almost like setup errors, but they're the hardest tricks. Yeah, I think the, you know, the, the, the setup thing, we were talking a little bit about in the women's finals, you don't really see many oh, setup tricks there's anymore. <laughs> and no, in, setups are rare. Usually that's just to reset if something gets off a little yeah. bit. Yeah, in the, in the Legends demo, it, it seemed like there was a lot of signature tricks going down. Are we going to see a, a similar kind of thing to in the men's finals now? Do these guys have their kind of signature tricks? I think there's tricks that they're known for, absolutely, like Tom right there with the, those big alley lip slides. But when you get into people like Eddie and Moto, you know, Moto's got the front foot impossible, and Eddie's got the crazy rodeos, so oh. they definitely have tricks that are associated with them. So this is Augusto Accio. He is so good at mixing up his runs, he doesn't do the same runs over and over. He has a million tricks, <laughs> and a lot of weird ones, too. I like that one for the crowd. Yeah, exactly. How much of this is planned, and how much of it is just... I can't tell. ...freestyle. Oh, how's that? Judo 5. Loving it. Crowd's loving it. Three-piece 540. Good dizzy. He's got to be feeling good. Now we have our 14-year-old skater from Kurtuba, Brazil. I was going to say, you want to talk about 540s. There you go. Is it, does it blow your mind seeing what this kid's capable of on his skateboard? I mean, already? I feel like he just chose that he's the spinner. And, uh, yeah, it blows my mind every time. But it's so easy. Look at that, 900. <laughs> Those I mean, off, really of like a, off of a marginal setup. The other day, he did a frontside nose grind, next wall, 900. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's just unheard of. Right. Did you honestly ever think that a 900 would be a normal contest trick? I, I, Is it no. a normal contest trick? It's, it's still not, but I never thought it would be... Oh, what? wow! Kick flip Indy to finger flip Indy. That, and that's the kind of trick right there that you expect a lot of speed for, and you would do it early in a run. And he chose to do it on the last wall. And not that high. That's not a that Tony high. Hawk pro skater trick. So Jimmy Wilkins is on the, on the ramp. He's last year's winner. He's won everything, every vert honor in the world. And you can see why. I was going to ask what makes him so special, oh! but it's pretty clear why he is so that special. He can survive an alley of tail grab five. That's what makes him special. Uh, he, he is so special because he can do alley oh! fives nine feet high and the best, be best ollies ever. And he makes skating look fun and easy and beautiful. It's more like a... <laughs> what? <laughs> yep, that's the Jimmy Wilkins show. What do we call that oh. one? <laughs> well, it's a no-grab natural disaster carving over the chasm. Right? Like 540 uh, rock and roll? No, okay. he went to his truck. Oh, he went to truck? Yeah. Forget it. I'm not calling anything. 270. Oh, 270, 270. How's that? Uh, yes. You know Backside 270 to front truck 270 out. Okay. There you go. We got Moto Shibata. 
Oh, oh. man, Moto with those alley-oop fives. And that's the thing about alley-oop fives, people don't understand. They're so much more hard, they're so much harder and dangerous because you have to pull out further and there's a good chance you're going to hang up. As Moto is oh, I love that <laughs> his way through his first run. We've got a question from Jacob Baranowski from Twitch. Wants to know, Tony, how's your oh. leg doing? We gotta ignore Twitch for one second. What was that? <laughs> asked, he asked oh, that at an inopportune man. time. He just wants an update on your leg. How are we doing? What percentage are we at? Uh, Percentage-wise. I don't like to live in percentages, but... He did a 540 last night. Good. Yeah. He's feeling great. So I put 100% of my weight on on the 540. How's that? Is that Paul, percentages? Paul, you said Eddie's one of your favorite skaters in the world right now. Why is yeah. that? He skates so on the edge. He does not bail. He stomps his tricks. It's full commitment. It's all in with Frenchie, and I love it. And his runs, he'll do 25 walls, which is rare. Yeah, there's no, there's no safety. Oh. He'll go backseat, he'll Delmar squat, he'll do whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, I love this one. Tail grab, fakey, fakey five. That is so hard. Look at this Wait run. a second. Yes. Was that a sugar cane to Fagy, or was that a back tail? The man will not be denied. It doesn't matter. Do we care matter. at this point? Yeah. The overall impression is that that was really hard. Yes. Here's your Tony Hawk special meter. This is uh, what the judges are thinking right now. Who's hot? Well, Jimmy Wilkins, Moto Shibato, and Geek Curry. Oh, man. But Eddie just popped up into that second spot. And again, those are not official scores. This is just a visualizer to what the judges are thinking right now. We have the best judges in the business. They are right over there, full focus. Jason Rothmeyer, uh, Mike Frazier, Lincoln Ueda. Legends. They should be one and all. Contest. Jason shouldn't, but the other two should. 33-28 on the clock. And remember, all skaters will get equal time. Tom Shar. Oh, look at Tom. Tom Shar has been on one the last oh. year. You, would you say he's improved in the last year? Unbelievable. Oh, he, is, he is one of the best first skaters we've ever seen. Well, he was he was great as a younger kid. Great, then, but now he is ex He's a maestro. He's a maestro vert. I think he's really, he's really Fist up. Ca oh, alley -oop cab lip. No one's doing that. And right here. Wow. <laughs> Big flip body roll five. I mean, that, if that's you need an overall impression. Yeah. We, we, we may have thought we saw, impressed. we may have thought we saw the best of Tom Shar when he was a teenager. But I think at 23 years old, he is in his prime and getting better. Yeah. Ooh, how was that? Did you see that? Kickflip lean nose grab? That's, that, I don't even think done. it was intentional, but kind of had it. I love how Guy just comes in hot with a 540. Like that, it just shows you who he is. Like, oh, this is who I am. I'm spinning for a setup. Are there prerequisites that you kind of have to do if you want to make the finals in a vert skate contest? Um, yeah, I, I don't, I think so. <laughs> for a while, fives were a major one and flip trick grabs. Oh, oh man. my what a Landing in the flat. Indy 9. I mean, it, you have to. With that much speed on Indy 9, you, he's, you're not going to stand up. It's not possible, but he is one of very few people that could just make that work. Wow. Keep now Curry. Indy 7. And that's with a stand up. And that, he Amazing. didn't have that much speed for that, and that was after after 18 walls also. He's the spin good. master. That's I'm it. He's the spin master. I'm not good enough at math to know what just happened. That was incredible from Guy Curry. And we're back to Jimmy Wilkins. Okay, so... Oh, my gosh! <laughs> Jimmy just went for a sugar cane, went to back lip, hung up, Howard slide, right? Yes, backside. So for new viewers, I have never... I rarely see Jimmy look sketchy but he's just holding on. Oh, that is amazing. That is so favorites. daft, too. If you do that wrong and you go bug on the windshield backwards into the other transition, good night. Flat bottom power slide. Yeah. See you tomorrow. You're going to have a bad time. <laughs> All right, 30.50 on the clock. We're going to go to Moto Shibata, 27 years old, from Osaka, Japan. He won. Oh, that alley-oop front foot impossible. One of a kind. No one's doing that besides Mario. 
And I, I talked to Christian and Soy a little bit. Oh, Kimber <laughs> McSwiss. Before the women's final, how do you pick your team riders? And you know, he said, just watch Moto skate and then talk to him and see how nice of a person he is. That's how we pick our team. You know, you could tell just when he drops in, you could be like, he should ride for Hasoy. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Oh, fakey to fakey five. Beautiful. No effort. Damn, the sugar canes. Sometimes it feels like the, the subtle lip trick. Oh, that. Oh, nothing subtle cool. about that. There's a lot happening in that I mean, trick. right there, that's a best trick winner. Yes, and he's got that 80s flair with the like hoping dance. Oh, my gosh. Love it. Smith lips like soup. Look, at, it's dead even. <laughs> dead Everybody even wins. with six people. Edward Yamastoy. He just won X Games Japan. You can see why. Oh, big rodeo, frontside five. Oh, oh no. Rare. Back tail one foot. <laughs> Overturn back tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Three six up Benny. I love that trick. People don't understand how difficult that is. Well, maybe you do, Paul, but oh, very yeah. few. That's true, and I know it's not possible in a line. The skaters have to be on it, too, because you don't know if the guy's in front of you, I mean, you could have four bales in a row, and you're up. You're going. Yeah, yeah it comes quick, especially with eight people. Ronnie, Gome, Ronnie Gomez has more experience in contests than anyone on this ramp by far. He's been around so much longer, and he's and such skated a every event, all the all the uh, big air events, all the vert events. And he wears glasses. All the Brazilian. Oh, oh my goodness! He tried to do a Bob Burnquist pa pancake grab on that trick. <laughs> no, thank you. Now we are back to Tom Shar. Wow. Oh my. So I, again, I feel like Tom Shar, after Vance Park series, he was you know tech, kind of known as a park guy for a while, yeah, but he's dedicated himself to vert, and it's showing. The Instagram clips he's been dropping are mind blowing, like video part enders, and he's just putting them on a story. He's that good. He's yeah, any any trick he does in his line could be considered for a best trick. Augusto, I should note, had to come up through the open wall. Oh, see that one? Yes. One foot, lip slide. See, so much variety. He can do it all. Grand wrap body jar. Look at that. Oh, that trick is so hard. Half cab to frontside blunt. Augusto that representing. Is the, that is the twister. Dreaming skateboards, hawks, and green box. I think that's going to bump him up on these standings. All right, we're back to Guy already. This kid is back on the escalator. The only reason Guy would do a front set air is to set up for a five over the gap. <laughs> Just watch his upper body prepare for these spins. When did this kid come on your radar, both of you? Uh, I saw him when he was doing 720s when he was very small. Like seven? Yeah, and and he had he was the king of the squad. I mean, I, just, I, I have no other way to put it. Tough. And now he's <laughs> able to just get that snap and not do the squat. I mean, and do all those spins. That slam right there was major. Yeah. That would put a lot of people out. He laughed. He got up and laughed. He at weighs him. 95 pounds, so he's got a little bit of a, a slam advantage, but still, they hurt. <laughs> slam advantage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're back to Moto Shibata. I mean, again, this is fast and furious. Better than the movies. Ooh, how's <laughs> that? that? Was huge. One foot of Japan. Uh, <laughs> is this an ode to Japan? <laughs> Benny Hana, yeah. one foot of Japan. Not that one. Oh man, these alley oops are out of control. Stale five. That's such a Buster Halterman stale five. I love it. Oh, towards the heels. Fakey. Nose grind. Oh, quick D. Whoa, invert. Now you're talking. <laughs> oh, man. Front side cab nose slide, or was that going to nose grind? Yeah, I think that was front side cab nose slide. That's take take a one from Reese Nelson there. So regardless of where Moto finishes, he is qualified for X Games Ventura. Already, huh? Already. And not just because we say so. There's points and stuff involved. And stuff, mostly. Wow. Big Madonna. Coming out of Bordeaux, France. Right? 
Wine country? Yeah. Wine and ramps, apparently. Paul Luke Ronchetti. Paul Luke has been going huge this weekend, looking amazing. I think he's due for a win. Yeah, his his tricks. He ha he takes no prisoners though. He doesn't compromise at all. That's cool. Like he just goes. Oh. So it's hard for him to stay on again and again, but he's doing it. So let's get. He on. also let's has a special here. weapon in his roster of uh, Narjar. Ooh. <laughs> looked like he was considering it, it, it right almost there. Almost looked like he was lining up for it. Instead oh, there we go. Oh. Heel flip. It's looking good. Oh. Double flip. Oh, oh yes. There you that, go. that was oh, not Luke. supposed to happen. How did he grab his board in time? He's it's impossible. Strong as an ox. We call that Quick. the Hail Mary. Yeah. And it, it, that's the commitment in that in that that's judging what you need. criteria that was listed. That is what we're talking about, Paul Luke. Scare yourself, scare oh, the judges. Oh man, floppy. Front side five. I mean, the viewing gallery that we have right around us right now is Ooh. so rad. Wow, Just that trick. The look on people's Indy faces. Three. That's, I think that's one of the coolest tricks ever. It is. Barrel flip in D3. Yeah, yeah. It's just all, I, I've never done it, never will. It looks like it's, it's <laughs> meant to happen, though. And it it's does. so beautiful. If you, oh, oh, man, yes. switch frontside heel. Ronnie is like, stepping it up here. How do you like him now? Fall. You can't fall. I mean, I'm looking around right. me right now. We got difficulty factor went to 11 the right house. there. Jim Thibault is over here just smiling and jumping around. You know there are special things happening on this half pipe right I, now. I think if, if any skaters came into this final with a strategy, all those strategies by now are out the window, and it's like go in and go How? turn it up to 11. See that? Front board to 540? Yeah. Who would have ever thought that was a line? An alley -oop. Kickflip India over the gap and cleared it by another eight feet. I'm I'm personally looking at these airs like they're 20 feet high, but for the noobs out there, for people that are maybe just getting into vert skating, about how high are the highest airs that we're seeing right now from the top of the ramp? Uh, I would say like nine, ten feet. Nine, ten feet. Yeah. And the ramp's 13 plus, so that's really high off the ground. Puts you 23 feet up off ground zero. I've always wondered, what do you see? when you're spinning in the, the air like that. Oh, when you're spinning in the air, you're, you're trying to look for your landing zone. In, in you watch his head, you watch his head, he, he turns it ahead and he's looking down, he's right, right where he's gonna land. How about this? For me, I don't see anything until I see the landing zone. Are you seeing things on the no. way around? Okay. No, I'm, I'm trying to look ahead as far as I can. And it's hard because my neck is very stiff these days. Mine too. It's hard to see, <laughs> blind spot checks are brutal. You know, watch with his nine, too. You can see how he just... Oh. Now, you, you, you had mentioned strategy. Obviously, you can't hang on to tricks and kind of just try to save them for last after you've already been skating for 25 minutes. So, at this point, is it just... Oh! What you can survive, yeah. stay on your board? Because you've already seen such amazing skating from Moto and Jimmy and Guy. There's no point in leaving anything You're, on the table. Yeah, there's no, you, you can't cruise one. There's no reason for it. If you take a safety run right now, it's not going to put you anywhere. I feel like this is really where creativity is going to come into play. Oh, there we go. Uh, lean five. Like that. He's the only person who does a lean five like that. And it's, wow. It's, it's that nose one. This. Oh. this to be fair, this run has gotten a few setups, but the, the tricks he was setting up for were worth it. Nobody has, a, nobody has a better slash on the vert ramp than Jimmy Wilkins, and I hope we get to see one. Oh, Moto's setting up for something big here. Oh. <laughs> All day with the front foot impossible. Now, at some point, the... Ooh! Oh, wow. Ball. See, almost a, a lot of people do flip grab fives, but almost no one does the classic kickflip McTwist invented by <laughs> Tony. Thank you. Uh, that, right? It's but he gets rare. it on his feet. I mean, he still has a, a full 270 to turn when he, when he gets it on his feet. But why is that one so rare? Um, it's harder to catch. When you're trying to catch it on the Weddle grab, you gotta you gotta be reaching really far forward. And it gets tangled, and it's hard. And it's hard to get your feet back in position. A lot of people choose to do melon because that comes into your hand easier. Physics. I'm not saying it's easier. No, it just comes into your hand easier. Maybe it works a little bit more naturally. 
Yeah, I, I love watching Eddie's quote unquote basic airs. They're so expertly done. Everything tweaked. They're, they're with to the limit. Yeah. They're sprinkled with stuff. Whoa, <laughs> was that an indie <laughs> tail slide? <laughs> like, he went like 170. I don't think that was planned at all. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh! Kick foot indie five. Almost into the. You do not see that. that. Yeah, that one's totally different. You and really even, don't ever see that. Even one. that body jar, he over rotates it almost. It's like terrifying. I think he didn't expect to make that. He's a little lost right now. He doesn't quit though. He does. I mean, he no. might pop out, but he usually just keeps going and going. I love that. I love watching skaters that kind of worry you yeah. throughout yeah. their oh, entire run. I'm worried sick when I watch him skate, but it's the best. I'm worried thing ever. and I'm stoked. Nice, Ollie five. He's he's always getting better too. Look at ah. ow ow. I heard we we all heard that. I felt it right here. When you hear and feel a slam, and you see how tough this kid is. <laughs> look at unfazed, true grit. Unfazed. That's how we won the first right there. Alert. Ooh, look at that frontside ollie by Paul Luke. Yeah, he's he's got that overturned twist too to it. What are the, uh, what, what the jar. is? Wow. You're welcome. Have you done a Narjar? Never. The adventure of the Narjar is sitting right next to me. Sandra Diaz, shout out. Have you ever even, like, looked at one coming around? No, I can't, I can't nose grab a five, so okay. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what it looks like from up there, where, you, where you're going to find your tail, I can't find it. No, I can't imagine. I didn't even, that trick never crossed my mind as a considered. It's probably good. You probably... <laughs> That's why it's called. You probably had to help your life because yeah. of it. Even body jaws can can be scary. Oh yeah, they're bad. See, I wonder what what is Ronnie gonna do here? Cause he had all these tricks last time. Nice. Struggling for a little bit of speed, but you know he's always got a wild one to throw out. Eighteen nice. twenty nine on the clock. Frontside cab. That's a combo. That's a good combo. That's the good shit. Yeah. When we Rush talk about that. dirt off your shoulder right there. Yeah. C composing a line. You see some like nice combos where they make sense and they're hard tricks. Look at that. Man, I, I look think at Tom. all of us Tom Shar fans want more. We want more Tom Shar. We want Tom, more of that. Tom is our Lester Kasai of this session. Because if he gets a good landing, he can't hold back. He cannot tone it down. Yeah, when, you, when it would be smart for him to to tone it down. Yeah, just a, a 5%. hair. Yeah, 5%. Yeah. But he even read right, that tricky bailed on. Alley you kick flip, uh, lip slide. No, no that's one, that's no a one. best trick trick. That, not a that, is a, that is the best trick. That will, I, I'm saying it right now, that would be the best trick we see in this session. I bet he can backside reverb too, though. So. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Don't give him ideas. Not right now. <laughs> Lee Curry, our youngest competitor. The master of the spin, oh, just according to Tony Hawk. Spin master. Spin master. Here we go. And these are all different. That's what's shocking. All, all, you know, if, to the untrained eye, it looks, they all look like fives. But they're all with their own difficulty factor. And Guy has a mega ramp in his backyard. Oh, uh, there we go. Kick, flip, body barrel five, body barrel five to get his board straight. He's got something in his backyard. 720 with no speed. Oh, oh. Man. Dude, he dodged it. Is that, is that a Brazilian thing? Because Bob does that thing where he lands on his butt. Yeah. It's kind of a make. He's counted. He's one-upping Bob right there. We got if, he, if he wanted to match him, he would have to lay in agony on the bottom for like five minutes. <laughs> We got a quick. We got a quick little uh, shout from Uncle Fatty. He wants to know how high were you guys going in big air comps? You know when you, Cab, and Soy were doing those high air contests off 10, I think 12 foot ramps. I think 12 was sort of the limit there. Benchmark. Yeah, didn't we see a photo of Christian going over the 12 mark at the Vision event? Maybe. And then and then at Raging Waters, Cab went. I, 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 about about that high, yeah. Which is shocking, because how? What size transitions we're talking about back then? Ten at the most, nine and a half maybe. And that's tiny. Oh wow! Well, but that Cedar Crest, Cedar Crest uh, was a big ramp, and that one kind of changed the game a little bit too. Uh, Fraser changed it too on that uh, that Gainesville ramp in Powell Eight. That ramp was 11 foot transition. That was the first big ramp I skated. It felt 
crazy. <laughs> it did feel crazy back then. So that, was a, for, that was a big leap. For the uninitiated, when you talk about the transition, when you talk about the, the, the length or size of the transition, uh, that's a totally unique factor to each and every ramp. Yeah. Usually, I mean, that's that's the radius, right? But it has come to a standard of about 11 foot now. So this ramp is 11 foot radius with two feet of vertical. Isn't it 11.5 radius? It's, that's up for debate. <laughs> you, you made it in meters, so it's, yeah, we don't know. Uh, Let's put it this way. I've skated ramps that they say are 11.5 and they feel a little bigger. Okay. And then the oh, amount of flat seven. bottom can make it feel different. Yes. Um, Giorgio has the ramp in Italy with a 13 foot transition and two feet of vert. That, so mental. that makes it harder to pump, unless you're going high every wall. Ooh, wow! There you go. That was a 360 foot melon grab? Yeah, Alley unbelievable. Is, that's right? like, yes, yeah, that's, that's impossible. That's impossible. There's yeah. your current. But not an impossible. Your right. current special meter. Right now, it looks like Moto Shibata has captured the attention of the judges. Currently, loosely in the lead. 14 minutes, 28 seconds to go. Oh, he's setting up here. Ooh, he's going for that big flip. Indy three. So in an overall impression format like we have here today, oh. do you almost go into kind of there best you go. trick? <laughs> no. Or do you do that? You just do that. You do yep. that. Tail grab seven, one foot. Uh, Unintentional, but still. Nice. Oh, that trick Ow. is unreal. Front side, blunt slide to lip slide. I'm going to take a real quick second here to shout out Tate Carew who was cruising his way. He was going to be here in this final. I've never seen him skate better. He was blowing everyone's mind, and then he slammed his brains out, broke his collarbone yesterday, so he's not here. Yeah, uh, I hear you. Well soon. But he was on his way to being one of the top competitors of this field right here. Yeah. I'm also claiming Tay Crew Olympic medal next year. I like that. In park. In park. Yeah. When are we going to see Vert in the Olympics? I said it. I said when what we, I said. When are we going to see Vert in the Olympics? Not soon enough. LA? When when someone from the from the IOC watches one of these events, Yo, it's a clue. Let's get IOC. Carrie on the phone. Paul has Tony's number. Get Tony's number from Paul. Let's make this happen. Wow. LA. Put you in touch. 13 minutes. Geek Curry. When they realize they're not gonna see a body barrel 900 in the park event, that's what that's when we, it's gonna happen. I think just give skateboarding it's it's most well-rounded view. Street, park, vert. Oh, oh nice. Show the world. That was 19 Last feet. Month. Oh, that is the biggest LA5 you'll ever see. <laughs> no grab. Not no touching. Grab. Oh, and then his signature disaster, backlit revert. Oh. That would have been, <laughs> the irony is that would have been the easiest trick in that line. And they're all impossibly hard. How, how did Jimmy Jimmy Wilkins get this good? What happened? He, uh, his mom's a ballerina, and his, maybe his dad is a scientist, and just like came together. It to was a laboratory. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So he got bit by a spider. <laughs> Radioactive. Columbus, Ohio. Is that a big skate vert skate town? No, but they had a great a great vert ramp at Ollie's. Yeah, Ollie's that he yeah. skated. It was rest in peace that vert ramp. It was close enough that he could go skate it. No lights and slick, but hey. He With an overbird section. Yes. The Boomstone. <laughs> Shout out to Peter Furney. All right, back on track here with Eddie. Oh, oh. alley-oop frontside five. Jeez. That was dangerous. That is, a, that is a frightening and dangerous trick. I'm always just at the idea that you can spin, go upside down while traveling Flying sideways, blind. sideways blind. and then land at that easy. Oh, here we go. Very oh. five with oh. command. Yeah, he finished that early. And 360 flip. Oh, very flip. It's almost like he had to safety that one. No, 360 oh, wow. flip. Every time. Wouldn't that make his board still backwards? It depends oh no, he did the barrel five. He did the problem. I didn't even think about that part yeah. of it. 
he's doing a lot. And again, basic, <laughs> he's doing a lot. Basic question: are, are are these guys riding loose trucks or tight trucks? Do you have to have tight trucks to stay solid on dirt? I your personal preference. Well, for me, yeah, my trucks barely turn. Uh, you know what? I think tighter trucks help you stay more stable and go higher. You can, you keep your speed a little better, but they make it harder to land when you're a little crooked, maybe, and um, maybe loosen them up. It, it loosens your legs up too. Who knows? Tom is coming in hot down the roll in to lip tricks that don't require much speed, and he doesn't care. Yeah, he, maybe he's overdoing it. I, no, it I'm works for him usually. Oh, here we go. I'm just impressed that they're still skating. I mean, it's been 30 minutes. And it's a lot still going runs. hard. The, these runs take it out of you, especially if you stay on and pop out. Usually, contests used to be three runs. Now they're dropping in eight, nine, ten times. And it's as mental as it, as it is physical, right? I mean, At this it point, is. Yeah, it gets to be all mental. Maybe. Oh, man. Potty Farrell 900. Has he have you ever seen that? I, I feel like I have, but. He's right behind us asking Chris. <laughs> Oh, that trick. Oh, there you go. I've seen somebody special do that trick, too. Over a channel. Oh. If, if, <laughs> if I could have one skate trick, that would be it right there. A Jimmy uh, Wilkins Ollie. Yeah. That's all uh, I yeah. Not alone. Yeah. Just about anyone would trade, like, their whole bag. They'll trade everything. Yeah. Now we're back to Moto Shibata. And last time we looked at Tony Hawk's special meter, he was right up there wow. in that top three spot. Huge. alley -oop. You can tell when it's someone's day, right? You can tell when they're on. That's true. Yeah. Moto's on a lot, though. His consistency is always just, that, that's why he's always here. He's just oh. unbelievably consistent. I don't think I've ever seen a front one from Moto. Great question from the chat. Do us MP4, please. Uh, yes, you skate for as long as you want. If you fall, the next skater can drop in. I would say there's some gentlemen's rules in place, you know. We all know that kid at the skate park that does a 50-wall <laughs> mini-ramp run. Yeah, but when you're exerting this much energy, you're not going to last more than 40 seconds. And if you do, then props to you. Yeah, and if you do, then you're just kind of... Are you bumming everyone else out if you skate for too long? It's just, you know you're not going to get any, you're not gonna get any points for it. I feel like the, the rest of the field would probably be happy the longer you yeah, stay. That gives them a little, break. a little break. But then that starts to cut into how many runs you're going to get in the, in the entire session. I should have been counting runs. We're probably on about 10 runs each around them. That's a lot of skateboarding. All right, we're inside of eight minutes here with 7.42 to these go. These guys are taking deep cuts with their tricks right now. <laughs> They're just going into the files. What else do I got? Here we go. Burial flip. There it is. That was perfect. In D3. I feel like you have something like that in mind. You don't know what you're going to do next. Right. You're, you're focused on one yeah, Just that one trick. But I made it. Once now you, what? Once you do it, then you almost don't care. And sometimes the rest of the run writes itself. So we, we saw in the judging criteria the combination of tricks. There we go. Tricks. Oh, here we go. Tom, Tom Shaw now. now. Come on, stay on, Tom. Yeah. Heel flip. 360 flip, Indy to Fagy. Oh, oh back switch D. back D. This is good. Cap Tom. back. Oh, Cap is after angry. Revert. He's Told you, deep angry. cuts here. What? <laughs> switch flip to Fagy. There we go. See right there. That's that the was, Tom Shaw we wanted to like see. That was like 10 walls. That's all. It, if he kept going, it wouldn't matter. No one could ever just need those 10 that walls. Run. That's it. You're right. Tom Shaw is going to rise out of the basement after that last run for sure. Wow. He better. 626 to I go. I mean, Cap disaster revert, but the switch back D, right? And yes, and he did it proper. Like it was. The, the, the over rotation factor on that trick is <laughs> too high. We gotta I mean, give a shout out to our DJ Vern Laird playing a fluff classic. Go. Body barrel 900 to a body barrel five. Wow. He was like shocked that he made it, but then just snapped into the next one. Uh, 
a lesser skater would have over-rotated that nine, too, because he was like... Oh! What? Is he getting dizzy yet? Oh, man. Look at these landings, too. I feel... <laughs> Every time I watch amazing. him skate, I just, I, I have to that wonder, how much further can he push this? Uh, he doesn't need to push that any further. I think he can be like, okay, this I got this, this is good. This I might as well start doing Jimmy Owies and stuff next. Right? I mean, yeah, the checklist of things to work on is not very long, is it? Oh, Jimmy with a huge frontside cap. Oh, Jimmy. Just like kick for Bindi for good measure. No, there's no reason. Wait, what was going on there? He was going to be alley back to revert. I don't want to project too much, but that's what I saw. He has done that alley um, nose blunt, so he ends up in a frontside nose blunt slide, getting into a you know alley back nose blunt. There's See, here we go. We're going into deep cuts. All right, we're inside of five minutes bash. now. Probably. Two more runs each, roughly? Uh, maybe. This is, is this uh, top of the order here? No. I, I filmed Eddie doing a run yesterday, and he, it was a full minute long run, and it was all bonkers. So he could take up most of this next four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't sense any tiredness, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, 99% of the skate world would be just completely blown by now, but they're still firing on all cylinders. Oh, there we go. 260 all the backside board slide. Oh, front cap, tail grab. Tail grab, backside three, tail grab. Oh, he was going to go. You know he was going to oh. go fakey, fakey there. Yeah. That was the plan for Look sure. That, and fakey stab pop tart takes him off his board. <laughs> I love hey, that run, but you I gotta got watch out for the classics. I got a question for this whole field. They can't hear us, but where are all the inverts? There's no. Are we not do inverts anymore. We saw. Uh, we did see Eddie do an eggplant, and uh, I think a frontside invert. We were talking this, and I feel like we were more nervous about the eggplant than anything else. Yeah, uh, you're right, though, Chris. Good call. We'll mention it to him after the final. <laughs> we we got best trait coming up, so maybe they'll be taking requests. Ronnie Gomez, 3 minutes, 18 seconds. What other maneuvers does he have? Always hyped to have Jason Ellis. Switch heel right flip now. over the gap. That requires a lot of speed. Now we're going to have the same judges for best trick. Are they going to be bringing out different tricks than we've seen so far? Uh, I believe so, yeah. I don't know, Tom, oh, wow. <laughs> Tom with those, they're not even really alley-oop back lifts, they're like alley-oop giant disasters. I love how Tom Shar skates. It's so fun to watch. It's so great. When certain people make it to the final, you're, you're, you get a little extra kick because you, a lot of times when they don't, you're just kind of like, ah. They belong there. Yeah. He's there. He's, he's, he's on fire. Wait, he just came in through the gap. <laughs> oh, he started a, a street run. I think he did a kickflip back there. Ouch. Well, that was an interesting strategy. Yeah. How are you all right after slamming like that? He's okay for now. <laughs> yeah. I can't speak for tomorrow. <laughs> Ice baths. Gee Curry. Follow him. Watch what he does on a daily basis. 85, just for speed. Right? Just from point A to point B. Certain people are... Are, are they physically constructed to spin, or is it is it a technique, or maybe a little bit about it? I think it's just, that was, that's what he saw when he started skating transition or revert, and it was like, that's my go-to. I want to spin. And then he went all the way with the spin. Oh! oh! That right there is an iconic trick. Sometimes one spin is all you need. Oh, here we go. Front 540. Weaver across the bottom. Big and big five. Jimmy won't hold back. A minute 13. We're about three quarters of the way through the field. We got Moto and Eddie coming up next. Moto was sitting high in the rankings 
about 10 minutes ago. I don't know what's left to be done, honestly, for many of these guys. They've done, done, they've done it all. They've done it all. What's left to be done? A rocket air. Oh, yeah. Now, that, now that's all I can think Thank of. You. Oh, 720. Andy 7. Okay. Well, Moto Shibata is definitely looking like a podium threat. I mean, that's for sure. Even if you discount what we saw in the special meter 10 minutes ago, I just think overall impression, he has been one of the standout skaters. Same with Frenchy. Same with Eddie. And uh, Edward Demistoy at about a minute, under a minute to go. So we are most likely going to be looking at last runs. I think they're going to go again. Do they vote? Should we fill it up again? I cannot discount how scary that gap is. I tried to jump it just with my feet. I didn't even get halfway across it. You, you, that wasn't a try. I'm following the disc okay. after. That's true. You posed it. It'll be the worst trick. Oh. Stomping it. But it was almost like a, a 90s to tail. Yeah. The late. <laughs> we, we pretended to go to tail, but we didn't actually go to tail. Right. Gladiators right there. I mean, full credit to the athleticism. And that is a corny word to say, but you can't help it. These dudes just laid it down for 40 minutes straight, that run was, after run That after was a run. lot of runs. I mean, that was two more than they're usually, than they're used to doing in any kind of finals. Are you in charge of that format? Uh, I was not. Okay. I was not in those discussions. I just work here. <laughs> We appreciate Just lend them your name. So I want to know about uh, you know one of I think a lot of people talk about when they when they're watching the current state of vert is how cool it is to see the mix of tricks from generation to generation. In your in both of your opinion, which generations do you think were represented the best right there? 80s, <laughs> 90s, 2000s? I mean, where did they pull from the most? Do you think? Uh, I think they pull from their own generation the most. Now, I mean, the, yeah, the, the, tricks that we, the variation we're seeing are, are things that we we hadn't even considered in our day. Yeah. But I do love seeing guys like Moto with the stale fives, the rocket eras. You know what I mean? Just a little bit of throwback, but then straight back into the modern, difficult stuff. I feel like the '90s were underrepresented. That's oh, yeah, all. a little bit more '90s. All right. Well, we've we got need more of those fake details. <laughs> We've got more skateboarding to come coming up next. We got women's and men's best trick and then our award show. It's going to be epic from here on out as if it already wasn't good enough. Just wait, you're about to see some incredible skateboarding. We're gonna take a quick break here, but we're gonna take a look back at what we just saw. So no break, we're going straight back to skateboarding. That was, uh, again, 40 minutes, a lot to unpack here. Some of the most technical skating we've almost ever seen in a contest. It's as good as it's, as it's ever been. Augusta with the Judo 5. See right there, pulling from the 80s. And then this one, that's the modern, right? Absolutely. Front cab, front foot impossible. Jimmy's got all the generations covered here. Big twist to kick from Melon. That, See, that's, that's from, that's from a, a year in the future. That doesn't happen. And then every spin that ever happened came together. Oh! Who won, guys? I know you're not official judges, but who are, you, who are a couple of your favorites? Wow. Um, well, I think Moto's got a very good chance considering that most of its runs were almost complete. And they were all different varieties. Uh, but Jimmy, you can't. You, you, not count him out ever. Fan favorite, oh. Tom Shaw. Tom Shaw, fan favorite. favorite. Cause that one run, could it, like if, if you had a one run, 12 trips. Yeah, that was it, one. that was it, yeah. Uh, but then I, I love Frenchie, just, he did exactly what we talked about. He was gonna come out and put down, like he's gonna click into another mode where it doesn't matter what physical consequences he might suffer, <laughs> yes. he's going. So I love to see that. The greatest vert skating dudes in the world for the Tony Hawk Vert Alert. 
In third place, my favorite skateboarder. Give it up, everybody, for Jimmy Wilkins. Jimmy with the best style, best selection of tricks. Truly a Cinderella story of a man. Congratulations, Jimmy Wilkins. In second place, winner of best trick. Give it up for Moto Shibata. Yeah, Moto. Moto shredding all day. And there, there can only be one winner today, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, did he earn it. So many different tricks in that contest. He qualified first. Make some noise, everybody, for your victor, victory champion, undisputed world, undeniable, greatest skateboarder alive right now, Eddie Demostoy! Edouard! Yeah, man. Get your jersey from the great Tony Hawk. Eddie. I noticed you got all your jewelry on. You're feeling pretty cool. You look really cool. Hey, did you have fun in Utah? What were some of the fun things you got to do? I mean, what, what was the best part about the contest besides winning? <laughs> uh, I'm very happy. I'm happy because I see Vert is growing all the time. We're in an amazing stadium this time. The crowd was amazing too. So I'm glad for this. And uh, yeah, the level of Vert is growing every year. I'm so proud of this. The, these guys killed it. Everybody in the finals killed it. I had to pull out my best skating today, and I'm glad he worked out. It was my day, I'm so happy, and yeah, first skating, let's go. Give it up for everybody, man. Edward, Jimmy, Moto, the greatest skateboarders alive right now. Just so you know, these guys, top three, the other guys, they've qualified. If you look up at the scoreboard, they also qualified for X Games Summer. 2023. Gusto, Ronnie Gomez, Tom Shaw, Paul Luke, all you guys, Ski Curry, you are in the X Games. Congratulations to all these athletes, some of the greatest skateboarding I've ever seen. Thanks everybody for putting up with my voice. And now I will leave you with the great Tony Hawk, everybody. Make some noise for Tony Hawk. Hey. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming, for supporting Vert Skating. I think it's just a bit of a lost art, but it's back on the rise. Thanks to all, your, thanks to all you for coming. And uh, thanks to all the skaters for making the effort and for literally risking their bodies just for, for fun and entertainment and competition. So, and we also want to thank Ryan Smith for letting us use your amazing venue, Delta Center, and to... Uh, Jeff Robbins, Utah Sports Commission, for inviting us year after year. This has been incredible. And to all of our sponsors for the reason, they're the reason we're here, the reason we can afford to do this, and the reason that it's free for you guys. So thank you again. And I hope we see you next year. Take it easy. See you at X Games. Bye. Thank you, Tony Hawk. I mean, what more can you say? came through again here in Salt Lake City with the 2023 Tony Hawk's Vert Alert. Exceeded all the expectations set last year in 2022. We saw the future of vert skating happen right in front of our eyes. Exactly. Congratulations to Arissa True, who a 720, and then she won the contest also. And then Frenchy getting his second win at Vert Alert. This has been a great weekend. It lived up to the hype. It surpassed the hype. It slayed the hype. Absolutely. Well, we want to thank all of you for watching. All these people in here are uh, as hyped as you are, no doubt. Paul and I are going to go get some autographs from our favorite skateboarders. And we will see you at X Games, and we'll see you next year here in Salt Lake City for Tony Hawk's Vert Alert.